Hello my dear friends, this is a video response to Moses question of the week number three. I've already been making a video for this topic but it was quite too long and um, well someone said that it, uh, that you couldn't understand anything because the sound quality was so low. So the question was um, why are we or why am I learning languages? Um, I think there are two main reasons, maybe you can split the first up into two reasons, that would make three reasons. Um, one of the reasons was also grammar for me. I mean, when I was at school or in gymnasium here in Germany, uh, we had to learn languages. Uh, we had to take, or we just had English as a first foreign language in the fifth grade and we had to choose whether we could or we would take French or Latin for the seventh grade and I took Latin and I didn't um, I'm not mad about it I've been into Latin for like 10 years and I ended my Latin career after 10 years of Latin um, with an B I think in in English or in in the American uh, grading system it's a B in my A levels so I can't complain about it <clears throat> um, it was really the gra grammar that I liked that was very easy for me I'm not sure I'm not quite sure what it, uh, why it was so easy for me to absorb or all, all the structures and, and so on Latin was uh, helping me a lot for other languages for English because like half of it, the English language um, bases on Latin like um, the words lexicology and um, also all the language learning and teaching on university is in, is in Latin or all the grammatical terminology that you have in Germany on universities or for uh, just for learning languages is deriving from Latin. What else? Um, well, I have to tell you an anecdote or maybe two. Um, I've been making a, a video about a case <laughs> that happened like half a year ago. I was in a in a supermarket and um, one, just when I entered it, when I came through the door, I heard Georgian being spoken inside of the supermarket by two young women. And um, as I have Georgian friends and uh, I knew some words or maybe two or three words, phrases at that time, um, and I, I was searching or waiting for a situation where, where I could say hello, just hello in Georgian to see what the reaction would be. Um, well, and, and in the end I, be, I, I, I got this situation. I was standing behind them while we were um, standing in line at the cash register or till. Um, and I'm not quite sure when I said it, but when I said it, uh, as I said it, they were really amazed, like two Georgian girls coming to Germany just for working. I'm not quite sure if they're studying also or if they were studying at that time, last uh, August 2011. And um, they were so amazed and I was also amazed because uh, and happy uh, to, to, um, to be brave enough to speak to them. Um, and I've been I've been making a video about this happening, um, and there there is a similar situation we had when I was meeting Joseph or Josip in Croatian, the Croatian polyglot or so-called polyglot. You can judge yourself if he's a polyglot or not. I will put a link in the in the description box. <laughs> Um, so you can ch go check out his um, channel. He's into a few languages and he's doing quite well. I mean, I'm struggling with two or th three languages to be learned at one uh, at the same time because I'm so lazy about uh, learning words and similar. 
but he's doing quite well. So anyway, I was visiting my relatives in Zagreb, my ho hometown, Croatia, um, for Eastern. Happy Eastern, belated Eastern for all of you. And um, we had like an hour to, to talk and we were um, not entering the funicular, the Zagreb funicular, one of the shortest one, uh, ones in the world, like less than 70 meters long. And um, we were just standing at the upper station of the funicular, which is a, a high, highly frequented uh, and attractive point for tourists, for, for an oversight of Zagreb. And it's, at the same time it's beneath the Lotterschak tower where they have a cannon which they well um, they shoot it out once a day at 11 o'clock or something anyways um, there were some tourists from China Japan Germany Austria from England I don't know uh, and one of those tourists we didn't know where they come from uh, were asking us to make a picture for them like a man who was talking quite quite good English and a woman uh, a woman a woman who looked well Hispanic or like Latin Latino like and uh, but she didn't say anything so we, we only could guess where they were from so um, Joseph took the their camera and make, uh, made a picture of them and afterwards like when they said thank you and they were um, uh, almost leaving. I was, I don't know why I, I did this, but I asked them where they come from. I, I mean, I think I was interested because um, his English was so good, but I couldn't guess where he was from because, like, I couldn't get, guess it from the accent. And he said he, uh, they were from Brazil. And <laughs> right after this, Joseph asked the man if he spoke Brazilian Portuguese because he said that they were from Brazil and right after this he, uh, Joseph asked like in Brazilian Portuguese are you from uh, do you speak Brazilian Portuguese and um, well it's kind of the same situation um, he was he was so amazed he was shaking a little bit he couldn't speak straight um, a few minutes after it and he also uh, made a blog post on his or a post on his blog about this whole story. You can read this also. So well, um, nowadays I'm learning languages not only for university or university purposes or um, any other reason, but for um, causing some funny or rememberable um, situation. To, to get in contact with people that don't n know my native languages like Croatian or German who don't maybe even know English because um, for example there are a lot of Russians who cannot speak proper English so if I didn't know or didn't know German or Croatian or English or, no wait if I didn't spoke Russian any Russian I couldn't communicate with them and uh, well so Georgian is one of my upcoming goals, Lithuanian. <coughs> yeah. um, it's quite hard to find uh, Georgian literature, uh, literature, literature, yeah. <laughs> literature, and um, and uh, dictionaries like German, Georgian, Gern, Georgian, German. Okay. Um, so well, this th those are the reasons: grammar and um, connecting to people that 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 not that are not from Europe or from like from somewhere else, <laughs> just somewhere else. So I can get to know um, their way of thinking, their way of life, meals, uh, clothing, whatever. Um, so thanks for watching and listening and see you later. Bye.